Do you have a child, teenager, or loved one who seemed normal and then got sick and then after getting sick and maybe receiving treatment for that sickness like the flu or strep or Epstein-Barr, after treatment or after the sickness they were never the same emotionally or cognitively or neurologically? If so, this video is for you. I'm Dr. John Bartimus and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Today I consulted with a, a, a family that consisted of a mother, father, and a 16-year-old child. And the child has, has had a diagnosis of ADD since they were in sixth grade. And this child is a high-performing child. This child runs 40 miles a week as a runner, as an athlete. And this child is taking all AP classes in school. So there's a large load both athletically and academically for this child. And this child takes the responsibilities very seriously. So serious, in fact, that the parents say this child stays up until 2 and 3 in the morning and will get 3 or less hours of sleep a night and has done that for multiple months. This child also will continue running through that time. So if you think about it, think of the stress of, of that lifestyle of running such high mileages each week and only sleeping 3 or less hours a night. What's that going to do from a stress physiology standpoint? And if you're driving stress up like that, what's that going to do to the immune system? Well, we know that stress suppresses the immune system. So this child had been living this way for a few months, the parents said, and then recently in January, this child contracted the flu. So we add infection to that picture to an immune suppressed child due to the stresses of academics and athletics. And the ADD, the, the, the irony of this child has ADD, which would be can't focus attention, but this child can focus on what they want to focus on, which would be the schoolwork and the running. So they added, you add the infection, flu was present, and the parents report that once they gave Tamiflu, which is the antiviral drug for the flu. Once the child had Tamiflu, they've never been the same since. Since taking Tamiflu, the child has had raging outbursts of screaming that within the same minute morphs to crying and extreme sadness on the floor. This child has gone from being emotionally stable to emotionally unstable, and the mother reports has even made comments that would sound suicidal and scared her and worried her about the child's safety. So how do we how do we put this all together in a case and understand what's going on? Because this child has seen other doctors and the other doctors are recommending things such as um, Adderall or Vyvanse or Xanax depending on which symptom they're reporting or groups of symptoms they're reporting to that doctor. Well. What I think is going on is what's called a two-hit model of neuroinflammation, or the two-hit hypothesis. And what that model looks at is that there is some predisposing first hit going on in the brain, making the brain susceptible to a second hit that will drive neuroinflammation and send you off the deep end susceptibility-wise. So for example, this child had, a, a, had ADD, since sixth grade and then for the last few months has been living high stress with lots of miles run per week and staying up late sleeping three hours or less per night that's highly stressful it doesn't allow this person to get into the rest and digest side or the parasympathetic side of the autonomic nervous system so not a lot of healing going on and that suppresses the immune system now you add in a flu infection that's a second hit so now we have flu, we have inflammation against the infection to try and, and heal from it, and probably neuroinflammation as a piece of that. Then you add in Tamiflu, which is a neuraminidase inhibitor, which basically is antiviral because it inhibits the enzyme neuraminidase, so it doesn't let the virus spread. Well, neuraminidase also has physiologic functions for the immune system and other areas of the body as well. So that combination all led to an exacerbation or crazy uh, neurocognitive symptomatology of basically 
rage flares um, paired with crying and just emotional dysfunction. This person is not going to be helped by Xanax or by Vyvanse or by Adderall. This person needs uh, a, a practitioner that's going to step back and see the whole puzzle as it is and, and deal with each of the issues in the puzzle. So the neuroinflammation needs to be addressed, the immune function needs to be addressed, the lifestyle needs to be addressed, the overtraining, the sleep deprivation. And then it turns out that this child drinks up to a half gallon of milk per day and eats a ton of gluten. So that is a, a nutritional driver of gut inflammation and neuroinflammation and gut brain, brain gut axis dysfunction. So this video is to help you understand that it is multifactorial most of the time when you're dealing with these cases and not as cut and dry as just give this drug or that drug. So in order to help this child and keep them from failing out of school due to absences, due to the effects of the two hit hypothesis, we need to step back and address all of the hits that we know about and look for and address any hits that we don't currently know about.